All right, y'all. So, you know the drill if you watch the last one of these videos. Um, yeah. Session with Light <clears throat> Friendlies at Summit on my stream. I'm gonna give the, you know, the download on it, thoughts going into it. Oh, it's just a friendly session. Nothing too much on the line, but trying to do my best to win, to learn. So I began cooked by Light the last few times we've played, and, well, sort of. I'm losing, but it's generally close games I cannot close out. Um, I've talked to Light about the matchup. We used to think it was versus Fae funny enough, but like ever since Light got better with the character, and Ray's been pushing the character's limits, it started to appear, we, we both kind of think it's Fox's favor, granted he's beating me, so of course bias there. <clears throat> But the issues in the matchup is really, and this has become an issue with Rose in a lot of matchups. Uh, just jumping is really bad and neutral. It always has been, but Fox especially is really good at fighting Rosa because not only can she like just hit her for jumping on the landings or whiffing anything, and her flurry nature makes her very easy to juggle. Uh, it's really hard to control the ground versus Fox. Because Fox has so many quick approach tools versus anything. Like, I do a bad down tilt, a bad star, but he gets that opening. Granted, I have a good edge guard game, as you see there, and that's a big deal in the matchup, but when is isn't a big deal versus Fox. But it's like, the fact that my ground game feels more committal than most matchups uh, really hurts. I need to, like, set up Luma in certain ways with, like, D uh, tethers and stuff to basically put Luma in spots to cover his approaches from far enough range that he can't like kind of rely on um from far enough ranges that he can't actually whiff punish me for throwing out my defensive tools also light's reaction time is just insane so that hurts a lot all right near to forward air mm -mm -mm -mm. yeah so with that in mind uh, and of course from Mike's perspective it's just like Get his opening, hit Rosa, kill Luma. Um, especially kill Rose very early with like Nair up smash. Generally just up smashing her. She's always like sub 100. And as long as there's good parries and good awareness of where I'm floating, it's hard for me to find like a counter offensive into Savage. As you see there, trying to down her, I just get up there for it. I gotta go into the corner. His, his parry game is insane though. Like, get, getting off the hole, just talking about the matchup. Light's parry game as a player is. Freaking insane. <laughs> Let's go, Luma. <laughs> Save me there a little bit. Oh, I was hoping Luma turn. I actually mentioned this while I was playing light. I was like, oh, I was hoping Luma turn around there by time the down to run. So Luma didn't activate all turn around, then missed the tech. I was missing a lot of techs this weekend, I noticed. I think just too much Wi Fi maybe has made my tech game really bad. Oh, this is the new step I like doing a lot. Let me show you again. So with Rosa, I'm sure anyone who plays Rosa see me do this. So I do like the up tilt. And then I do like another one, right? However, the forward air is really good. Because people tend to drop sure versus forward air, and even if they don't, uh, it sure pokes after the up tilt pretty often. You want to like kind of space towards the corner of their shield. But one or sometimes two up tilts into the forward air is really good pressure. Because yeah, oh my god, oh my god, these up airs. Ah! I always think Balfour is really good for Fox in the matchup, actually. You know, Rosa generally likes it a lot, too. The, the up air combos on Battlefield are. Well, actually, you really any platform gives them big up air combo sessions at Battlefield. Should I call it my thing regular like get up? Because I feel like that's not a good way to catch a jump there. Forward to attack cancel stuff. Let's go. Alright, good. And that's the thing I was talking before where I mentioned like, hey, kind of position Luma a little bit farther away from Rosa. So it's hard for Light to find opening with Fox when I'm doing all my Luma shenanigans. And I think that's the big thing I need to do in the matchup to push it more, is like, that was bad on my part, is like, consistent set those Luma things and use that in neutral more. Granted, I've been trying to do it, in general. Uh, the main problem with that is just the time it takes. It's not too long, but it's long enough. And also, the other problem, it's not the biggest one, but it is a problem, is going for those kind of setups with Luma is pretty linear. Like, I thought I paused for a second to do something extreme. stream. Like, I do that kind of setup, right? And then my opponent sees them at a certain position and they know how Rosa works. They can kind of have an idea of what I do and don't want to do. Granted, I can always just do that and then, like, not commit to it. But then I still spent time setting it up that could have been set up, like, positioning Rosa instead of just Luma. Okay, near the back air trade. Big deal in the matchup is 
Lumet decepting a lot of Fox combos, like here. Um, I messed that up. I think I want the tech into Luma. God. Oh my god. Bruh. Oh man. Second place gets punished by the side being the dead. <laughs> ah. Okay, Nair catch him in landing. Oh, something else in the matchup is very nice. As you see me use a lot of Nair now, because like, it's just like, take his Rosen move, but Fox can't challenge it well from the air. So it's like, if he's on the ground, Nair is not that great. But if I see him in the air, like if I call it out, Nair is super good. And so what I do for juggling, especially is I short hop and I fast fall in Nair to land with the top hitbox in Nair. So that way Fox stands on top of me, I just beat his landing option. But if he like air dodges or something, or drifts away, I can still chase down the air dodge, I can chase down the drift away. So I'm covering that like nice area above me where Fox could land, while also positioning myself to cover other spots. Oh, so he loves an up B thing, holds down up B's, and since Rose up B does not have a hitbox, he can basically just like cover that ledge area for quite a bit of time and get free damage. It's really obnoxious. I'm dead, I'm dash tacking him. That air dodge for me was. I don't know how I made that work. I'm wearing the same shirt at Summon that day as I'm wearing now. I really like this shirt though. This shirt is pretty badass, not gonna lie. Get Luma shot. Moving Luma forward. I'm trying to play Ludi Tether right now. I tried calling that jumping, but he doubted me anyway. And they try to have Luma, but he can't because Luma's sneaky. Oh, just jab in there. I could have down smash here, actually, I think. I know something I need to work on more too is like just committing the kill options sometimes. Granted, like, if I do down smash here. Actually, if I down smash there and he shields because he wasn't enough lag to get guaranteed jab, I'm just dead, probably. Jab is like, I can do it. I have blocks so that I can, like, jab one, two, and then, like, cancel it. So it's not that bad. But I, I could skill it. It's hard to say. It's like, I choose the lower risk options a lot. So I can probably make some high risk options anymore, but then the high risk options are just that high risk options. Yeah, we got down air. Once Fox is... So this specific angle in particular is very bad for Fox. So he does a side B. Um, actually, I just read it. Because he can go directly up and drift to ledge. Or he can hug the wall like he did. I just read him going for that wall hug. That's a 50-50, honestly. If I don't like go out and hit him during his up B. As he's like starting it up. Which I really should have done that there. Alright, yep. Position Luma. Look, 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 protect me, right? Shoot Luma there, put Luma on stage. And all that short pressure with the Nair, right? It's it's three hits on block because both hits Luma Nair and then Rose and Nair connects. Ah, I think he's just parrying. Yeah, he's trying to get a kill right now. And this is one nice thing. I have a lead, you know, he's looking for kill moves and. Granted, Blake could just not look for kill moves. But. Fishing for him, he might be dead actually. Nah, almost. Luma spawned in multi jabs helps a lot. Something I like doing a lot with the Rosa is when I have Luma, I intentionally look for certain moves more that cause more stalling. Like if I get a, a grab, for example, back throw is better here anyway. But arguably, that Luma, honestly, up throw for potential combos and juggles or forward throw because the knockback angle is very nice in forward throw for follow ups. But because I don't have Luma. Not only do I want pummel anyway to get more damage, but the stall time for Luma. Uh, but also, back throw is a longer throw animation than forward throw. So it adds a bit of extra stalling time for Luma. And you see me do a lot with like throws, you see me do a lot with like punishes. Like I could up smash him here, right? Granted, I probably would have killed him. But if I'm not sure if it's going to kill him, the jab is a better punish because. If it was a guaranteed punish. Because it keeps him stuck and let, uh, you know, hits out a lot longer than up smash, letting me stall for Luma more. And little things like that, like recognizing punishes and moves that basically waste time while hitting the opponent, is really good without Luma. And oh, that was a good up air. Man. He's dead. I got him with a lot of random nares this game, I know. Like, I feel like I was hitting him with so many random nares. Yep, the setup with Luma, and then near the jump. The thing is very nice is like doing the down tilt Nair in this matchup when he's getting aggressive covers the ground and the air, as you see me trying to do there. But he can challenge my Nair if he spaces right. It's a it's an interesting little mix-up game honestly with him like down airing me for Nairing. 
if he like jumps over the nair. But then like if he commits to the downer and he whiffs, he's definitely in a spot to go punish. Or like you know, I might just hit him with the, the nair destroy if he doesn't time it well. Yeah, punish me for jumping there. I'm just nairing a lot. I'm just like nair. I love nair. I love nair. Fox strings are crazy. Back here. The side is definitely missed input, I think. Oh my god, the fairy! Like, stop the- Ah! Oh! Light! Relax with the parries, man, jeez! Alright, we got a kill. Dash sex my shield. Maybe he tried to cross me up. Maybe he just thought he saw punish. I don't know. Ugh. Nairs, up smash, and then it's such a low percent that like up smash is kind of negative on hit. Up air, yeah, the side B is hard to chase. It's like if I went to center stage, could cover that. But since I tried just up air immediately, I was just stuck in the air for too long. Nair catches him off guard. Something else I should definitely be doing more is like recognizing. I don't want him with the Nair, but I should set up more uh, lunar lands with the Nair, so I can like. Pressure Fox is landing on the ground in general. Mostly when I have a little bit of time to work with. Because, like, Fox doesn't have a sword. He can't really... He can't challenge my near. He kind of has to punish it by, like, parrying it. Or, like, really well-timed with punishes. But he also can't hit Luma particularly well. Like, when he hits, like, Luma, he's mostly hitting Rosa and Luma at the same time. He's not just hitting Luma. Unless, of course, he gets separated. Meaning a lot of my setups with Luma can be very effective. Oh, my God. It's so much damage. Catch the landing. Down smash is such a good option for that. And then he's super messed up. Because I I don't think he wants to up you at that angle. 90% sure, and also. Bro. Bro. This was so good from light here. I do the Luma shot, and he just hits Luma. Like, instead of going for me or trying to let trap, he just recognizes. Oh, Luma shot. Hit Luma quickly. Dash attack. I could have fared him for that. But, like. Even if I fared him for hitting Luma, honestly, dash attack on the Luma there and getting only fared by Rosa is probably a fine trade. Yep. And then chases me. Yep. Going for Luma and then he's using his speed. One thing Light does very well um, is he uses his double jumps. Where he, like, looks like he's going to land top with an attack and then he double jumps just as he's about to land. And the double jump is really tricky because Fox is so fast and basically unreactable. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, he did. Yeah, back air pressure. And I didn't want to roll there. I feel like if I rolled, it'd be too obvious. So I'm like, rip. Rip. Call it the roll there. Yeah, light doesn't roll much. When he rolls, that means he knows he messed up and he's trying to get out of the position quickly. Bro. It's so smart him to know he can swing there, but bro, why does Luma just lose to like normal attacks? I swear it's so annoying. Dash tech forward here. And I guess we that B thing because he blocks my uh my aerial off sage. And that's why I don't do it too often in this matchup. Because I know if he's ready for it and he blocks it, he gets a free punish. I was gonna say, Hollow Bastion, I think I really like Feroza. I've been playing, like, the more and more I play it, the more I think it's just one of her best stages. I think when she sets up camp underneath the center platform, it's very strong. But I think it's long enough that she doesn't, like, lose Luma off every single interaction she loses. And you see me sometimes rush the recovery when I think Light's gonna go for that B setup. Because if I go for the rush recovery, he does the up B. Suddenly, I'm getting to the ledge, he's doing the up B, and I get stage control. Tom will grab. It's just really hard to, like, find, like, openings versus light. 
Like anything, like anytime I jump, it's rough. But my ground moves don't cover where he's going well. So like, I'm kind of forced to jump to call out when he's gonna jump, and then sometimes he just punches through my attacks. Most because he's punched through Luma and after dating Rosa. Ooh, multi jabs. Starbits? Ah, there it is. He jumps over. Using that platform. Actually, that's just his advantage. If anything, the platform made it hard for me to get an opening. And so, the reason the Sage Griff. Well, that's the reason the Sage Griff for Rosa. Because you don't need the platform, you kind of stop openings from the air. Oh my god! He knew, he knew exactly what I wanted. I took 52 damage, I think, in like 5 seconds on his respawn. Forward air. I've been loving using forward air lately as like not just a landing tool. I've always done that, but I've started spacing with like drift packs and like even doing slightly early forward airs so I can hit him with like the ending hit as I land because it gives a different timing of pairing like a pairing like the landing hitbox versus the last hitbox. If that makes sense. This is not landing hitbox and forward air, but landing with a drag down hitbox versus last hitbox. And I've just found that to be extremely strong for defense. The damage is low on forward air. So I'm not like doing it and going, yes, I got forward air. But it's like, all right, it gave me some room to hit some, push them back. Moves being neutral. Oh yeah. He actually up smashed my down tilt there. So some things up. Yeah, I got put into the corner and he really, he scared me to escape from the center platform, which was bad on my part. I need to hold that a lot more. Close my jump, and then forward is Luma. And now I'm in the same situation as before. Get the air dodge. You see me jump around and see the forward thing, right? Kind of just a shift back forward air. See, I'm trying to move around the center platform as much as I can. Get the attack against the stuff. A little bit of starboard, something crazy. I'm just... He's almost like kill percent, but I'm not trying to fish for a kill. Because it started to actually kill Fox. From neutral you have to come with like edge guards generally speaking of which woo! got an edge guard game five looking more competitive than any of our tournament sets have been lately <laughs> uh light is insane lately I, I don't know exactly what happened but he's gotten so much better all right yeah up smash unsafe and hit also smashville so i don't like this stage compared to how bastion froze just because that's that platform in the middle is so much smaller. And the stage is so much smaller. It's just, it's too small for... Not for Rosa, because she has some big hitboxes. It's too small for Luma, though. Ooh. Connection issues? Oh, yeah, there's a... There was a couple times at Summit. Where on stream where there's getting, like, little connection issues and stuff. Not a big deal. Like, if it happens, it happens. I was very, d during some of streaming, I tried something different, which I think was much better. Where I actually hit the chat and like OBS and everything while I was streaming and practicing. So I could get this content for, you know, this kind of stuff. But also, I didn't want to like get distracted by the chat. And I, anyone who knows me, knows my stream smash, I practice. I get very tilted. But I'm sorry, right, I just lose, I'm struggling. Especially when the chat goes, oh my god, he's losing, he's getting whopped, whatever. My molly whopped, destroyed, I'm just like... So I hide the chat during a serious practice nowadays, and it makes it so much better. But as a result, when the the stream starts like stuttering and stuff, I don't notice. I check chat mostly between the games. Oh my god, the air, get the up air, oh, up air damage messes up, and then, dude, it, it lights so aware when his landing is too obvious, and like the opponent's like scouting it out. And since Fox's fast flare dodge is so fast. He's a character that can do it and get a really nice punish just on like air dodging through up smash. Trying to catch his jump there, but he jumps at the right time after I do my up tilt thing. And then, yeah. Man! I don't even know how I killed him there. <laughs> I actually my eyes closed like.
Okay. And right now I'm just trying to get ledge and yeah. He he's so good because and this is what most good players do. Um because most of the regular characters have really good frame data. So they can kinda of hold shield and just react to ledge options. But actually it's funny. Because when Smash Ultimate came out, I didn't think just holding shield to ledge and reacting was gonna be the play for ledge trapping. But as people got better at an ultimate, it's become even stronger to a point that like it reminds me of late game Smash 4. With late game Smash 4, you just have the top skewers shielding at ledge. And reacting everything out of shield. Um, and I honestly think it's like the ultimate ledge trap when you get to that point. But it's so powerful with characters like Fox, um, Aegis, what other top tiers? Cloud, you name it. Fast characters with good range. Hold shield or ledge, especially if they have like timing is not for parrying and just generally like knowing. Oh, if I hold shield and drop shield at this timing in reaction to a ledge option, it covers regular getup. Because they can grab it, it parries, get up attack, covers roll, and they can react to the jumps by just catching the landing. I talked about this in my Spargo set, but light is the same thing. But yeah, that's my just fun little set with light. Nice competitive set. It's, it's, watching this, it's like there is a lot of times light's clearly making reads on me. But there's also a lot of times where I'm like, I'm not really sure what my options are in neutral that good. Like it's like my my only real times to get hits in are when I make good callouts on light jumping, and a lot of times my Luma setups and like more defensive like walling play just never really seem to work. I think the big thing is playing around platforms worked well for me to limit Fox's approaches. Now is about it. Yeah, guys, hope you like this one, and I'm gonna have another one coming up soon. Catch y'all later.